Yo, this is Squash Corner, and I'm gonna talk about how I make French press coffee. This is how I do things, and then for this demonstration, we're gonna be using Mickey's Really Swell Coffee. So how French presses work is, of course, it depends on the size between ground and water ratio. So usually it goes from the three cups, four cups, eight cups or 12 cups. So for this demonstration, we're gonna do a three cup French press, and I'm gonna add the measurements right now to show how much tablespoons of grounded coffee you would need depending on the size of your French press. There we go, I'm using about two and a half. Usually I'm cheeky and I go for four tablespoons just because I actually am a coffee addict. And if I don't get my coffee, I get nasty headaches. So there we go. Next thing we gotta do is boil the water. Okay, I didn't really think about how funny this is gonna be because I actually have to record really fast because the water is heated and I don't want it to get cold and my cat is snoring. So first, now what we gotta do is we pour, oh my god, I have to be so fucking careful. <laughs> we have to pour only till the top part of the grounds just for it to be on top of the grounds and that's really it. So we're pouring on top of the grounds and then just slightly stir it a little bit just to get the clumps out of the way. And then now we have to put a timer for 30 seconds, put this on top so the heat could stay intact and wait 30 seconds. Something actually really funny is the reason we have to wait 30 seconds is apparently when you're doing this process of putting hot water on the coffee, a lot of CO2, I'm getting all scientific, a lot of chemicals get produced, and you want to wait for, you're, you gotta wait a bit of time for that process to end for you to continue making that coffee. Alright, it has been 30 seconds, gotta be very careful. <laughs> it's been 30 seconds, we now are able to put the rest of the coffee. I finish it, I pour it until it fills to the bottom of that metal piece. So we keep going, we keep going, we keep going, and then I stop. Once you fill the water to the top, give it one more little stir. and then place the topper. And we wait three minutes and a half. Now we put the timer. All right, three and a half minutes have passed and counting. Here's my Mickey cup. And now this is actually the fun part where we're able to press it. Something interesting too is if it's easy to press, then that is a coarse coffee, watery. And if it's a little harder to press down, it might be fine. And I feel like I have fucked up, meaning it is coarse. But that's not entirely a bad thing. Some people like it like that. But now, press it all down. Everything's in the bottom, clearly. So now it is ready to serve. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Ooh, that noise is nice, especially it's raining outside. So this is kind of a perfect time to have coffee even though it's like 12 in the morning. And there we go. All right, here's the coffee, cheers. So I did this correctly. There's no grounds left over. It's completely being held by the, uh, the French press. It's not too bitter. It's not very acidic. I actually like bitter coffee. This is a medium roast, so maybe next time I should go for a dark roast. Or if I could change one thing about how I brewed it, is because I like bitterness, I probably would have added another teaspoon, no tablespoon of coffee and I probably like this more. If you have a little bit more time in your day to actually make a French press coffee, I recommend it. It's just way more it's quality. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to really say. Um, hope this video finds you well and yeah, see you guys.